If you spend your money and time on something like this, then I have to warn you, that's a total waste. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of reading, and I do it every single day because I think reading books is one of the most productive things a human can do. Yet when it comes to the type of books, I become a bit skeptical. Welcome dear viewer, Behrus the Skeptic is here, and in this video, I'll explain you why you should think twice before investing your time and money on self-help books. The main reason why people buy self-help books is because they want to solve certain problems such as fear of public speaking or quitting bad habits. It is great that people are actually taking steps to improve their lives. However, many wrongly assume that self-help books are some kind of a magic pill that will solve all of their problems. They think that by reading, spending some time with books will help them become more sociable or confident or help them beat procrastination or help them break their phone addiction etc but here is the harsh reality you have to understand no matter how many habit building books you read you will never build a new habit or become consistent with something unless you manifest your knowledge now i really love this phrase and use it quite often it basically implies that the knowledge you have in your head is put into practice that's what many people miss out actually you will never improve or achieve something unless you take action i noticed this mistake in many individuals uh, not only in relation to self-help books but also self-improvement videos on the internet for instance a person watching hundreds of youtube videos about improvement of communication skills lies on his bed all day isolated in a dark room and snacks bloody chips do you expect him to become a more confident and elegant orator? Of course not. Mate, go outside and talk to people. This is the best advice you can be given. Yeah, the practice. Here is the deal, my friend. You need only one book to become a better speaker. You need only one book to break your bad habit. So don't buy 10 books about communication skills. Buy only one and apply the knowledge you get. That's it. Don't be a person who is knowledgeably at all. Because knowing and doing are two different things. Now, the second point of mine is non exclusiveness. Most of the information you have in those books is not exclusive. It's not some kind of a top secret data that is available only for intelligence agencies or something. Most of them already circulate on the internet, which means that you can find other ways other than books to improve yourselves, to get the tips to improve yourself. Some of the suggestions and tips have already become so cliche in the self-improvement community and they're repeated in multiple books. So why waste your time and money on books, the content of which you can easily find on YouTube, for example? Let's be honest, watching videos or listening to audio is more energy and time efficient way of consuming information than books. Videos often summarize complex concepts and ideas, allowing us to understand the main points quickly. And unlike books, they provide multi-sensory experience as they combine visuals, audio and animations. This can make the content more engaging and we're more likely to remember information when the process of learning is interesting and enjoyable. Finally, I want to repeat myself. I'm a huge fan of reading and I read books a lot and I do believe that it has its own value. But we should not forget about taking actions and cherishing our own time and energy because these are the currencies we cannot afford to waste or lose. Now thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and share the video.